Hey YouTube, I'm back with another video. Um, this video is, well first let me start off by saying, uh, from my last video, you know that I am no longer support, well not supporting, but, um, I'm not buying hair from Hair Inc. Atlanta anymore, and I made that announcement on Instagram, and I've been getting a lot of comments and, uh, messages and stuff, <coughs> excuse me, um, and people want to know why I'm not buying from them. Let me start off by saying I'm not bashing this company in any kind of way. Um, everything I'm saying is based off of the experience that I've had with them. And, um, yeah, I just don't want anyone to think I'm bashing them because, like I said, they were one of the first virgin companies, virgin hair companies that I've, that I've ever bought from. And their hair is great. Like, I'm not, there's nothing wrong with the hair at all. But, um, for the last maybe three times that I've ordered from them like I just haven't been uh, very satisfied so let's get started okay um one of the reasons that I stopped buying from Hair Inc. Atlanta was because I noticed that the more well each time I would order their hair something was wrong with my order um let me see about five months ago maybe I noticed that I ordered my hair and it was um the wrong length. I ordered a 16, 18, 20, and 22 and they sent me a 16, 18, 20, and 24. And the thing is, most people wouldn't like um, be upset about that, but the thing was from the 20 inch to the 24 inch, it was a dramatic difference. So the person who did my hair, they had to cut it and it was cut evenly. And I just don't like my ends to be cut evenly because it doesn't look as natural to me. So, um, and then I had to pay extra to get it cut. And, you know, it could have been avoided if, you know, I got, I had gotten the right lens. Um, and the same thing, uh, my mom and my grandmother order hair from them as well. And my grandma, she doesn't like long hair. And she orders all 12 inch bundles and it was like twice that they had sent her a 14 and nothing happened when my mom ordered hair from them but the thing was even after we received the wrong hair I emailed them and I told them you know you guys sent me the wrong lens on several occasions um you know next time when you do my order could you please make sure that you know you're sending me what I asked for and the thing is um I don't think they charged me for the extra lens well I'm not sure but um, you know, I just prefer to get the hair that I ordered. Um, what else? And then the thing is, like, as a hair company, I would like, you know, feedback. So, if every time I would email them, I wouldn't get a response. And I would comment on the Instagram picture and, you know, I would get no response. And then, the final thing is their shipping. Um, with the shipping... I would order my hair and they would charge me like they would charge me like pretty um quickly after I uh submitted my order and I would say maybe like two three days they would um they would charge my card but then I wouldn't receive like my shipping information like it wouldn't be shipped out until like three to four weeks later and that's happened with the few times that I've ordered the hair, like the last two times I've ordered, um, uh, that I've ordered their hair, and it happens every time that I send, I mean, my grandma orders from them, and then the thing is, like, they'll give you the option to, uh, do express shipping, and I think that's $15, um, yeah, I believe that's $15, and I think it's like, uh, within, you'll receive it within three to five days, but the thing is, it's like they ship out the hair a month later and then you receive it within three to five days after it's been shipped. So you, you're kind of under, under the impression that when you uh, select your shipping that you're shipping, I mean you're going to get your order within three to five days after you submitted your order. But if they have you waiting and they don't send it out for a month or two or a few weeks, you're not going to get it until they shipped it out. So, it, I'm sorry if that confused y'all a little bit. But the thing is, I would like my um, my card to be charged around the same time that I'm, you know, getting my hair sent to me. Like, don't charge me 
way ahead of time and then and then have me waiting for my hair especially when, when it comes to me waiting for a month I think that's kind of ridiculous um so those are the three those are the three main reasons why I've stopped ordering from them but let me end this video by saying like there's nothing wrong with the hair at all like that hair is probably my favorite company that I've ever um gotten from so I have no complaints about the hair it had no shedding no bad smells um I got to do so much with it like coloring wise and uh you know just being able to style it period um yeah so I have no complaints about the hair itself but just the customer service and the shipping has not been great for the last few times that I've ordered from them and like I said it would have made me feel a little better if they had responded to my emails or contacted me back but um they didn't and uh just let me end this by saying I'm not bashing the company these are, these are just true facts and things that I've experienced and this is for I'm not telling anybody not to buy from them but you know I've been buying hair from them for a while now and I think it's just time for me to you know try a different hair company which I did and um yeah like there's nothing wrong with the hair so uh I hope this video was informative um and if you all need any questions with anything else or help, just contact me and I'll be glad to help you. Thanks for watching. Bye.